Hi everyone. Uh, this talk is from Jimmy Lai, and the topic is Fix It, a Lean Framework Writes Better Python Code for You. Uh, let's give him a big applause. Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy Lai. Today I will talk about Fix It, a Lean Framework Writes Better Python Code for You. It's an open source project just released this week. So about me, I'm a software engineer from Instagram infrastructure. I love Python and open source. So in the past year, I have been working on two open source projects, libcst and fixit. libcst is a Python syntax tree parser, and fixit is a lint auto fixer based on libcst. So today I will focus on fixit. In today's agenda, I will talk about what is Fixit and why we built it, and how to use it to build a autofixer rule, how to test a rule, and also do some case studies. So Fixit, as we mentioned, is a lint framework that can autofix the issue for you. Uh, we already know uh, a few uh, popular Python lint tools like Flake and PyLint. Those lint tool uh, can provide uh, code suggestions. Uh, for example, in this example code, uh, here's a quiz for you. How many uh, code suggestions can you provide? Uh, if we use uh, the Flake tool, it can provide one suggestion. When we run Flake on it, this example, it shows this suggestion on uh, 9, 10, column 16. Uh, it suggests us to use not equal symbol instead of use is not uh, when compared with uh, constant string literal here. Uh, and this is uh, easy to fix. We just need to uh, change the is not as not equal symbol. If you use fix it, it can automatically fix it for you. There is a command line tool apply fix and you provide your source code and the rule you want to run, then it will uh, pro provide a suggestion and fix it for you. So you can see uh, the it's fixed. So that is uh, basically uh, what Fixit can provide. You may wonder why would we want to build a tool to fix the issue, because the clean suggestions looks easy to fix. Uh, however, in a very large code base like Instagram server, it will become a big issue even the Lean suggestion is uh, simple. So uh, in Instagram server, it's a, a Python Django web application. It has multi-million size of Python code, and every day hundreds of developers work on it. So if you want to launch a new Lean suggestion on this large code base, there could be uh, thousands of existing violations on this code base. So if you just roll out a Lean suggestion, a lot of developers will see the suggestion and then work on fixing it. The, that can slow those developers down. We want to help those developers to write better code faster so we build fix it to fix the problem for them. That way, developers can focus on building the product features. Before we build fix it, we use Flake plugin. So we use AST uh, to parse the source code as a abstract syntax tree. Then we tra build uh, visitors to traverse in the tree. And we want to keep the lint uh, runs fast so we can provide signal to developers fast. So we uh, try to run all the lint rules in one single tree traversal. And that ends up be, uh, building a very large visitor uh, uh, files with a lot of rules coupled together, which makes it very hard to maintain. And uh, we also find uh, the issues that a lint rule cannot be easily disabled in Flake. Uh, it's also not easy to build a rule and test it uh, eventually. And uh, we also want to get advanced static analysis so we can uh, build more powerful rules. 
So because of those pain points, we decided to build uh, Fixit. So Fixit based on LibCST, LibCST provides concrete syntax tree. So uh, given an example code, if you parse it as AST, you can see the formatting information like space, uh, comma, and uh, comments, it, they are not preserved in the tree. So if you modify the tree, you are not able to convert the tree back to source code. Um, unlike AST, lib, lib CST provide a concrete syn syntax tree, it preserves all the formatting information. So when we transform the tree, we can uh, convert back to source code. Lib CST also provides nature for easier tra tree traversal. It also provides metadata for uh, static analysis. So let's take a look how do you build a uh, auto fixer rule in Fixit. In, in Flake, uh, we use a numeric code uh, to represent an issue like F405. We found it's not uh, easy to understand. So we uh, propose a new convention that each link rule should have a short and actionable name. Uh, the name should describe the action, not the, code, the issue. For example, if you want to suggest developers to gather the await in a loop, you should name it as uh, gather sequential await rule rather than await in loop bin rule because gather sequential await rule is more actionable. So uh, in our example, we want to build a rule to suggest developer not inherit from object in Python 3. Because in Python 3, uh, every class by default inherit from object. So if you add object as base case, base class to a class, it has no effect. And so let's just remove it to keep code simple. We can name this rule as no inherit from object rule. And the next step is to uh, inherit from CST link rule class. And you can provide a dark string to describe uh, what this rule is about and also provide a message attribute. This is the short message will show up when a violation happens. And when we use uh, libcst to analyze this code pattern, we, uh, we want to inspect every function definition. And we want to check whether object is uh, used as the best class. So we can just iterate through all the bases uh, and we just check whether any of them are uh, object name. If they are, we will filter them out. So our new basis will not include the object name. And at the end, we check whether the old basis is equal to new basis or not. If they are not equal, that means uh, the object name exists in the basic case and we want to report a violation in this case. We just return uh, the node to the report uh, function call. And in order to provide an auto fix, we need to provide the updated CST node. So uh, we can call with changes and provide the new basis. Uh, then it will return a new class definition when we report a violation, we just provide a new CST code as the replacement. That way, uh, it will uh, auto automatically uh, generate the uh, fixed code. And here we uh, also modify left and right parentheses attributes as maybe Sentinel. That way, uh, it will tell uh, the deep CST to automatically remove the parentheses if we end up removing all the base cases. So to test your link rule, uh, you can add unit test. So uh, it's very easy. You just add some code examples to your CST link rule as valid and embedded attribute. Each attribute is a list of uh, valid test cases or embedded test cases and a test case is a code example. For valid test case, it's an 
code example that we exep- expect no validation show up. And for embedded case, we provide a code that has some violation. We can indicate where the violation should show up. In our example, it's 91 column one. And we can pro- also provide expected replacement. That is how we expect the fix it. Uh, uh, com- uh, automatically fix the code as. So with that, you can run unit test to automatically uh, ge- run the generated test cases. And the other way to test your link rule is to run it on existing code. So you can uh, r- r- use the run rules command to run a rule on a file or a directory. Uh, we can see it works as expected. It won on nine, number four, and it shows that the int message, uh, no inheritance from object rule. And when when you run a link rule on a large code base or an existing code base, there may be some existing violation. You want to uh, silence them if you don't have auto fix or you want to ignore them, maybe uh, the link rule doesn't apply to some use cases. We provide link fix me and link ignore comments to help you silence a link violation. You just include link fix me and the rule name in the comments above the uh, violation. And then uh, it can be, it will be silenced. So the the silence is explicit, so you need to uh, declare what the rules you want to uh, silence. Uh, in Flake, it provides no QA. We decided to not support no QA because use no QA can silence all the link rule on the same line, which can uh, accidentally silence on some link warnings un- unintentionally. So we prefer to explicitly declare the silence. So, so we have been talking about a, a few different uh, comments provided by fix. You can run rule, apply fix. You can also use insert separation to automatically insert the lint silence comments. So in this example, it will insert lint fix me no inherit from object, it also includes the linked message. So the, when the other developers see this message, they can work on uh, fix it, yeah. And also we think uh, documentation is very important and the best documentation is the code. So when you de- uh, define a good class name with doctrine and message, we extract those information and generate it as the the Sphinx documentation. We also include the valid and embedded test cases as example. So when developer want to know more about the the suggestion, they can check the documentation to understand it. For the efficiency issue we mentioned, um, if we have built uh, end rules, and we have M source files. If every rule needs to visit every uh, files to find the violation, the time capacity will be N by M. To make it more efficient, we batch the, all the visitors. So if you have three then rules at the runtime, we batch all the registered callback function together. So we perform all the uh, functions in one single tree traversal. That way we can reduce the time capacity to OM. Let's take a look at some uh, built-in fixed rules. Uh, use F string rule. Uh, F string is available since Python 3.6. It's uh, simpler and more efficient. So you, uh, this rule will suggest uh, auto fix like this. It will convert percent formatting as F string. It also handles some uh, edge case like uh, row string formatting and as gapped the curly bracket in F string. Rewrite to comprehension rule. 
we recommend use literal comprehension like this comprehension, dictionary comprehension, to make your code sh simpler and more efficient. So it will suggest code changes like this. That way we remove the function code to make it more efficient. Import constraint rule is an interesting rule that it allow you to uh, provide some constraint on imports. Uh, sometimes you may not want to import uh, something to prevent uh, like uh, circular dependency or you want to uh, forbid importing testing code in production modules. You can use this rule. This rule is configurable. You can it configure it in fixed config ML file. You can just de declare uh, in rule config import constraint rule. You define a directory and define a list of rules to uh, deny or allow. So here we deny everything. Uh, then if we try to import anything in this directory, it will show a violation. And if we only want to allow import comma, we can add a rule uh, common allow. That way, uh, it will only allow uh, the common imports. Then this become valid. So go back to the beginning, the uh, example code. If you run uh, fix it, uh, uh, apply fix command, it will make this uh, code suggestion changes. It remove the unnecessary object inheritance. It also add plus to for string concatenation because implicit uh, string concatenation sometimes can be confusing, especially when it used in a tuple. Um, also, it change uh, compare with string uh, by using the not equal symbol. It also rewrite the dictionary comprehension to use the curly bracket representation to make it uh, simpler. Um, so uh, if we just have uh, the, the syntax tree, what we can do is still relatively limited because we don't have the whole picture about the program. Uh, we want to leverage some other system to uh, build more powerful link rules. Uh, so type checker like Pyre and uh, MyPy, they are uh, they understand the whole program and perform the type checking. So fix it integrated with Pyre, a uh, type checker open source by Facebook. So uh, in our await async call rule, uh, we want to identify when you miss an await on a async function call like this. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, happens multiple times in Instagram and cause issues. It's easy to forget uh, something, uh, a function call. And in order to uh, get help from Pyre, we use the metadata API. So you can uh, get the inferred type of every name in the syntax tree. So Pyre will tell us the FOO call will return a coroutine, and we just uh, warn on all the coroutine used directory in an if, then we can uh, provide a suggestion and auto fix to the developer. So uh, now uh, fix it is open source and it comes with uh, around 20 rules. Uh, however, we do see a lot of uh, improvements and opportunities, and you are very welcome to contribute to fix it. New, uh, you can contribute to new uh, auto fixer rules that uh, can help developers write better, uh, simpler, safer, and more efficient code. In, in Instagram, we uh, have our fix it integrated with a VS code. So whenever you update file, it checks the code automatically and provides suggestion uh, on the UI, and you can one click to fix uh, the issue. That makes it more easy to use, but the VS Code implementation is highly customized and hard to open source. So um, 
you are welcome to contribute to some IT, IDE and workflow integration to make fix it more easier to use by integrate them to the development process. You are also welcome to contribute to bug fix and documentation fix and new features requests. You can simply submit a pull request or create an issue on our repository. Okay, uh, that, that, that's it. Uh, now it's time for Q and A, and uh, this uh, this size is available on the Python Taiwan website, and uh, here is the link of our project. And if you are interested in the career opportunity in Instagram or Facebook, you can check this link. Um, so any questions? 現場有沒有會用有問題想提問呢可以舉手然後我們會有工作人員把麥克風地下去看一下呃is uh, there any plugin for the test editor so that we can not check on ID uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, you are asking for a plugin for what? For text editor. Text editor. Oh, uh, yeah. So the, right now, uh, it fix it only provides a command line interface, but uh, we we also have some uh, Python APIs. So. Uh, you can reuse those API to build uh, the text editor uh, plugins. Yeah, right now we, we we don't provide plugin, but we welcome your contribution. We we are happy to review your pull request and merge them to master. Hello, uh, uh, because this tool is very good, but uh, this looks like it may possibly modify codes that you don't write. Uh, is that a problem in Instagram that cause some problem while you merge with others modification? Is that a problem? Okay. Um, so your question is uh, whether the auto fix changes can cause some more problem, like um, merge conflict. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, when it, so merge conflict should not related to uh, auto fix because auto fix run on your IDE, your local dev environment. So before you submit a pull request you should already get the suggestion from Fixit and you may accept or reject the auto fix. So um, yeah, if, if you still have merge conflict with others pull request, then it, that is likely not from Fixit. It, it could be just you are modifying the same file with others, then you need to resolve it manually. Okay, uh, so yeah, so Fixit only run a modified file uh, it, in our use case. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hi, hi, Jimmy. Uh, there are some questions on Slido, and uh, one of the questions is about will Faceit be, uh, can replace like a black or a replace other like auto PEP8 uh, eventually? Yeah, because it looks like uh, physics cover all scenarios. Like uh, you can configure more, or you can do lots of things. Yeah. Uh, so this is, is an interesting question. So, uh, yeah, physics is very powerful right now. It can be focused on uh, the rules, uh, and internally we use black for string formatting. Uh, so we don't want to uh, duplicate the work done by Black. Uh, so fix it only focus more on uh, good code conventions not supported by uh, Black. We already implement uh, many of the suggestions from Flake, and we also have some uh, our custom uh, suggestions. 
Yeah, but it, I uh, I agree. It, it it's uh, it can be very powerful. For example, uh, we have a internal rule that um, sometimes we find many class is used as configuration. So they have a lot of attributes, and developer want to sort those attributes alphabetically. So uh, we develop a rule. You can just include a comment in the class that string. You can say uh, sorted attributes. Then there is a auto fixer will detect the sorted attribute comments and automatically reorder all the attributes inside the class alphabetically for you. That that is something similar to formatter job, and we do have something like this. Is there any question for here? This element will be alternate, right? Um, so, so now can you expand your question again? Uh, huh? you call okay. it, uh, uh, except okay. in class. Uh, because in, in your content, you, you said that you you writing the uh, non important non important case means the error case in the in the, in your class. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, if the Python function change a lot and the, the class also change a lot, how do you to ma maintain the class? Uh, so uh, you are talking about the uh, the test cases, right? Uh, the embedded test case. So uh, yeah, so if you end up modify the logic of the rule a lot, uh, then you need to um, manually update uh, each uh, embedded test cases. Uh, yeah, th there is some automation we could do, like we can potentially just use the rule take an input code and ge automatically generate the output and insert them as a re replacement. Yeah, th this kind of automation is something we can do, but, but we didn't do this yet. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, our time is up. And if uh, there are still any uh, any questions, well, I want to ask uh, Jimmy, and you can ask on Slido or Discord, and uh, we will uh, help you to uh, ask Jimmy to answer them. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thanks Jimmy again, and uh, give him a big applause. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.